isomerism. Isomeric compounds have same molecular formula but different structural formula. Example, butane. Butane, the molecular formula, butane, uh, but has four carbons. Uh, so the, the formula is C4H10. Uh, so this is the molecular formula. Okay, But for butane, it can has it can have uh, two types of structure. The first one is something like this. No branch. No branch. Eh? So the IUPAC name for this one is uh, butane. Eh? Butane. Uh, when you draw a structural formula, make sure that every carbon has four uh, covalent bond. Eh? Okay, every carbon four covalent bond, and every hydrogen has only one covalent bond. Uh, and the structure can also be like this. Okay. Uh, with one branched. Okay, there's one branch here. This is the longest chain, and this is the branch. Eh? And the name is called 2 methyl uh, propane. Now, both of these molecules are butane. Eh? This is butane. This is also the butane. But the IUPAC name for this one is 2-methylpropane. Eh? And uh, for this butane, it has the same molecular formula. The molecular formula is the same, C4H10. But their structural formula are different. So we say these, these eh? both of these are the isomer of butane. This is isomer of butane and this is also the isomer of butane and this phenomenon is called isomerism. Isomerism or, or we say this is isomeric compounds of butane. Both of these uh, are the isomeric compounds of butane or they are the isomers. Okay, isomers of butane and uh, this phenomenon is called isomerism. Uh, isomers of uh, pentane. First of all, if they ask you to draw the isomers, isomers, okay, uh, we have a few isomers. Isomers of pentane, uh, you must know that uh, this pentane has how many carbons, right? Five, that's good. Okay, five carbons, uh, five carbons. So, uh, we start with a horizontal five carbons chain. So, this is the first pentane. Don't draw the hydrogen first. Uh. Don't draw hydrogen first, okay? Uh, try to identify the structure first. So this is the first pentane. Eh? First pentane. Okay, after you draw the this uh, five carbons pentane, eh? then we move on to the four carbon chain. The longest chain has four carbons. Eh? Now since pentane has five carbons, this one only has four carbons. That eh? means that it must have one branch, right? One branch. Eh? So, uh... The branch is here. Uh, this is a this is the second alkane, second isomers. Eh? Okay, we start with the five carbons and then we proceed to a four carbons longest chain with one branch. Four carbons of the longest chain and one branch. Eh? Next one, next one we try to see whether we still have any structure for the four carbon longest chain. Um, for example, if you put here, okay. Now, if you put the longest chain here, okay, it will be the same. Both also attached to the second carbons, right? Okay, up or down, it makes no difference, okay? No difference. Huh? So this is not another isomer. This and this are the same. Huh? So this is not another isomer. So cannot. Cannot. Huh? If cannot, then how about if I put my carbon here? See, hey, I, 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 this one attached to the second carbon and this one attached to the third carbon. No. Okay, no. That's not correct. Why? Because we count from the nearest end. This one, one, two, attached to the second carbons, right? This one, we cannot start from here. We must start from the right-hand side, one, two. Still, this branch still attached to the second carbons. So this and this are still the same. The branch still attached to the second carbons. Huh? So this is not another isomer. Yeah, not another isomer. A lot of students, they make mistakes, okay? They, they give this and then they give this, eh? Then mark deducted. Sir. So this is not the third uh, isomer. Sir. Okay, so we erase it. 
Now, if we try our best but still can't find any new isomers that has four carbons in the longest chain, then we proceed to the, the one that has only three carbons. Eh? The one that has only three carbons uh, as the longest chain, okay? Now, since pentane has five carbons, this one only three, so it must have two branches. Two branches, okay? Uh, remember, you can't put the branch at the first carbons or the last carbons, eh? cannot, eh? The branch cannot attach to the first or the last carbons or else it will become part of the longest chain, right? So cannot. So erase it. So the branch can only attach to the carbons in the middles. And we have two branches. Two branches. Ah, uh, that's all. Okay. That's that's the that's all the structures that you can form uh, with five carbons. So one, two, three, three isomers. So after you have determined the structure, uh, then only we add in the hydrogens. Uh, the hydrogens. So every carbon has uh, four covalent bonds. So every every carbon's four covalent bonds. So try to draw the covalent bonds for all the carbons. And don't forget the hydrogens. Eh? Okay, after we draw the covalent bonds, and each covalent bonds attached to a uh, hydrogens. Eh? Uh, usually, this will be asked in. Okay, this one lacks of one. Eh? Okay, usually this will be asked in structure questions. Eh? Structure questions. They give. They ask you to draw all the isomers of pentane. Uh, then you draw this. All the isomers of pentane. Uh, usually, they will ask you to, to draw the isomers of butane. Eh? Each one, one mark. Uh, sometimes after they ask you to draw the isomers, they want you to name. Give the name, uh, the IUPAC name. Uh, this one is called pentane. This one is called 2-methyl butane. And this one is called 2-dimethyl uh, propane. So that is how we draw the isomers uh, of pentane. Uh, if you have time, you can try uh, hexane. Hexane has five isomers. Isomerisms of alkene. Eh? For alkene eh, that has four or more carbon atoms, eh, they have isomer. Okay. For example, uh, butene. Eh? Butene, the molecular formula is C4H8. Eh? Okay. If you count the number of carbon and hydrogen one by one, you will find that these three molecules, it has four carbon and eight hydrogens. So their molecular formulas are the same, but you see their structural formulas are different, right? Okay, this one uh, is a, the first bond is the double bond. This one, the second bond is the double bond. Okay, this one, it has branch, okay? Uh, so this one is put, two, uh, put one in, this is put two in, and this is two methyl propene. Eh? So it has three isomers. Eh? Three isomers. Usually in exam, okay, especially in uh, paper paper two, uh, structure questions paper two, they will ask you to draw the isomers, uh, the isomers uh, of alkene, alkene or alcohol. Usually, okay, they will ask you to draw the structural formula, okay, for the isomers, and uh, you must know how to draw uh, these isomers, okay. For uh, usually they will ask you to draw the isomers for butene, uh, butane or butene or pentane. Uh, Draw the structural formula for all the five isomers of pentene. Eh? Pentene. Okay, so pentene has five isomers. First, we start from the longest chain. Eh? One, two, three, four, five. Five carbons, right? So the longest chain has five carbons eh? because this is a pentene. Eh? Pentene, five carbons. Uh, and then we, and then we need to put. The double bond eh? because alkene must have double bond, right? Okay, so let's see where to put the double bonds. Eh? Okay, uh, let's put the double bond as the first bond. Eh? You can either put the double bond here or the double bond here. Okay, so let's say we put a double bond here. Okay, so this is the double bond. Eh? So that is the first alkene. Eh? That's the first alkene. And then uh, let's try another one. Let's see uh, another one. Eh? Still, let's try five carbons. Eh? Five carbons. 
And then let's see, do we have any other position for the double bond? Yes, we can put the double bond here, right? So then we have the second, second bond as a double bond. Okay, so these two are not the same. And then let's try another one. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see, do we have any position for the double bond? Uh, how about here? Here, if we put here, okay? Now, if we put here, this double bond uh, will be the second bond, right? Because we count from the nearest end. Uh, we count from the uh, right-hand side. First bond, second bond. Uh. First bond, second bond, okay? But for the second case also, uh, this is the second bond because this is uh, closer to the left-hand side. So therefore, we count from the left-hand side. This is the first bond, second bond, right? So first bond, second bond, first bond, second bond. Means that these two are the same. These two molecules are the same molecule, eh? same molecule. So uh, for same molecule, we don't need to repeat it, okay? So this one, we can erase it, okay? Uh, we don't want this. Then how about we put the double bond here, okay? Double bond here. If we put a double bond here, then this will be same as this one, right? The first bond is a double bond. Eh? This one, the first bond is a double bond, right? So this and this are the same. So uh, also not acceptable because... If they ask you to draw the isomers, okay, you you, you shouldn't draw the repeat the repeated isomers, okay, the re, or the repeated molecule. So means that uh, for for pentene uh, with car five carbons uh, in the longest chain, uh, uh, we only have two isomers, two isomers that has uh, five carbons uh, as the longest chain. So this one we must erase. Uh, we must erase. That's, that's the only thing that we can get uh, for five carbons in the longest chain, okay? Now, after trying five carbons, uh, then uh, we proceed to isomers with four carbons, uh, four carbons in the longest chain, longest chain, okay? Four carbons, and then uh, let, let's put the double bonds. Uh, let's say we put this as a double bond, okay? So, so this, is this is double bond. Uh, after putting the double bond, uh, but you see we only have four carbons, right? But this is pentene, uh, it must have five carbons. Uh, means that we need to have a branch, a branch with one carbon. Uh. So let's see where do we put our branch. We, let's put our branch here. So let's put our branch here, okay? So carbons. Uh, let's try another one. Let's still put the double bonds at the same place here, okay? The double at, at the same place. Uh. But let's try to put the branch at the other place, right? This one attached to the second carbons. Let's try this one attached to the third carbons. So this is another isomer, another isomer. Then how about uh, this one? Putting the branch at the fourth carbons. Can we do this? Yes, can any of you tell me? Can we do this? We attach the carbon to the second carbon, third carbon, and the fourth carbon. Cannot, eh? cannot. Why? Because the branch cannot attach to the first or the last carbons, eh? or else it will be part of the longest chain. This will become the longest chain, okay? And then so if this, this is the case, eh? and this and this is the same, eh? longest chain has five carbons, and the uh, double bond is at the first bond. Eh? So this and this is the same, so cannot. Um, if cannot, then let's try. Another one. <clears throat> How about putting double bond here? How about putting double bond here? Yes. This one is the first. The double bond is the first bond. Huh? This one, the double bond, the second bond, right? Okay. After that, uh, let's put the branch. Okay. Mm. So this is another one. Then let's try one more. The double bond is here, right? Uh, How about this one? So this one, we put the carbon. Huh? attached to the second one, okay? This one, we put it attached to the third one. Okay. But then you will find that these two are the same, right? Okay, they are the same. So if they are the same, then cannot, cannot, okay? So then we have to erase this, cannot. Uh, but anyway, they say you just need to have five isomers only, eh? we don't have six. Eh? So this, these are the five isomers, five isomers of pantene. Okay. Now after doing this, then, not yet, not yet complete, eh? because you still need to write the hydrogens, eh? okay? Uh, then we need, then we write the hydrogens uh, or draw the hydrogens, okay? Every carbon has four bonds, eh? four bonds. Every carbon has four bonds. 
you must be careful eh, when you draw the bonds around the double bond okay if you put one more here then you will have five bonds one two three four five right okay so around the double bonds eh, you must be careful okay yeah so here we have no bonds eh, because here double bond eh, one two three four okay this one one two three four eh, four bonds already uh, this one also one two one two three Okay, so after drawing all the bonds, then we draw the, we write the hydrogens, uh, H. Uh. So these are the five isomers of pantene. Uh. Five isomers of pantene. In the exam, sometimes they will ask you to name it. Uh. So just now we have learned how to name it, right? So we should have no problems. Uh. Okay, this one, uh, I think I should draw here. So that is how we draw the isomers of alkene.